Both health workers and patients using candles and other forms of light to operate in the health facility. The situation persisted till late the next morning. Pregnant women in labor were compelled under the circumstance to relocate to other hospitals in search of health care. A follow-up visit the next day saw a delegation from the office of the Member of Parliament for the area, Mia Masana Mwali, in the company of engineers to access the situation and made promise of replacing the broken down generator. The facility now has an anti rust 250 kVA generator with additional emergency 25 kVA standby at the cost of 72,038 cities installed. If the ordinary person comes to hospital and because of simple electricity he loses his life or the child dies because of simple electricity we should all as governors bow down our heads in shame it is based upon this that we resolve to move heaven and earth mobilize all resources to make sure that the larger hospital is presented with a high quality generator that will last a minimum of 10 years. The mayor of Accra, Alfred Oko van der Poy, lauded the efforts of the deputy minister for agriculture and hinted the assembly is making efforts at re-equipping the health facilities in the capital to ensure better health care delivery. A special pediatrician of the hospital, Dr. Juliana Ame, received the keys on behalf of management. We've been working under very challenging circumstances, you know, sometimes on the operating table, power goes off. Sometimes the children, the babies need electricity for incubators and other things, and the power goes off. Sometimes even laboratory services, people are, you see, long queues because of no power. And we thank um, our Honorable Mayor and MP for making it possible for us to at least surmount this problem. Um, it will go a very long way in improving our care and our services to patients and to LA as a community. Country manager of Global Power Energy Limited, the local agent, which also bared the cost of additional 50 kVA, Chris Kobe Adams, spoke about the generator. The whole canopy over there has gone under powder coating. Powder coating is a process whereby metal materials undergo certain chemical reactions which go through anti-rusting system, anti-coating, just to protect against our weather conditions and sea conditions. Now, the presidency has debunked as total fabrication. Media reports suggesting President Mills has accepted a mansion as gift. Rather, Rich Manuel Gray Estates is building restrooms for security men, protecting the president's residence for rental. Journalists who stormed the location of the supposed property, alleged to be the gift of President Mills, were disappointed. There was no such property, but behind the president's residence was an ongoing project to build restrooms for security personnel. Regimano Gray Estates, a private developer, is building the facility on rental to the president to assist the security men on duty. Documents cited said the president requested because the soldiers and the police